This is day 43 in my six mark challenge for AQA GCSE Science. In the run up to the exams, from Monday to Saturday each day, I've been posting a new six mark video for you to use as part of your revision. If you look in the description below, you'll find a link to all of this week's questions and also the playlist containing all of the videos so far. Before you dive into answering this six mark question, don't forget, even though you're going to be given a whole sheet of A4 to answer this question, it is not an essay question and you aren't going to receive any marks for writing in full sentences. So don't bother doing it because it's just going to take you longer and encourage you to waffle and make it harder for your examiner to see your answers. Instead, use bullet points or a numbered list in order to lay out your answer. Now, if you haven't done so already, pause the video and give yourself six minutes to answer this six mark question. At first glance, this may appear to be quite an easy question. We see carbon dioxide and starch and say this question is about photosynthesis. But often students will start writing and then realise that actually they've missed the start of the story. So let's start at the very beginning. The stomata are going to open and allow carbon dioxide from the atmosphere to diffuse inside the leaf. That carbon dioxide is then used as one of the raw materials for photosynthesis. And we can specify that that is taking place in the palisade mesophyll layer of the leaf. That process is of course going to make oxygen and also glucose. Now the glucose is turned into larger sugars, which are then transported through the plant in the phloem. And this is a process called translocation. They're going to be transported all around the plant and in the organs where it's going to be stored, they're going to be converted into starch. That starch is a polymer, or we might just be able to talk about it being a very, very long chain that is made out of glucose units. The reason that the starch is made is that it is an insoluble storage molecule. As with many of the questions in this series, this question would be level marked. And so you can have a level one answer and get one or two marks, a level two answer and get three or four marks, or a level three answer and get five or six marks. And it's not enough to make six independent correct statements to get into level three. We need to see statements that are actually linked together. So let's look at this question and basically there are four different areas that you might have discussed and in order to get into those higher levels you're going to need multiple points that come from one of those areas. So firstly we have entry which doesn't really have a huge amount of detail that you can link anywhere. Then we have the photosynthesis. Then we've got this transport and finally we've got storage. So in order to get into level two you're going to need two statements that refer to one of those, you're going to need to have some linkage in there. And then to get into level three, you're either going to need to have tackled two of these areas really, really well, or three of those areas still with some strong links in there. So for instance, if you talked about photosynthesis taking place in the palisade mesophyll layer and producing glucose, that's one very strong link. And if you then talked about glucose being stored as starch, which is a very long polymer, which is insoluble, that would be your second really strong link. Those two together would be enough to get you into level three. Or you could have talked about three of the areas with a strong link. So that's going to get you into level three to get you five marks. But to get the six marks, we're going to need two strong links at least. But tomorrow's question will be thinking about how to perform the energy changes required practical. Don't forget, there's a link in the description below to all of this week's questions and also all of the previous videos in case you've missed any. Thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you back again tomorrow for day 44 of the Six Mark Challenge. If you have found this useful, then don't forget to like and subscribe for more GCSE Science Revision videos coming soon.